So it's a beautiful June weekend and we're camping up near Godreach at Point Farms. And one of the places that we're going to check out today is the Wawanosh Valley Conservation Area, just north of Auburn. There's only one other person here with their little dog and we're going to go down one of the trails. There are three different trails and see if we can get to Maitland River. As usual, Chloe and Chitra have gone ahead because Chloe just does not want to wait for me. She says, I'm slow, I take too long, and I have too much stuff. And she's right. It's completely true. Ooh, very pretty. We've already done over 3k. Chloe was down at the beach this morning at Point Farms and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and jumped in the water and just about killed Tetra. She wiped right out during one of her fraps. Okay, so we have a trail sign over here that says that we should be able to get to all three trails from here. So that would lead me to believe that it sh should be fairly well marked. We're not going to Camp Base Camp. No. 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 That would be so much fun. Okay. That's just one of those propeller planes. Chloe's is afraid of the sounds of those, the jet planes that drone off in the distance. She thinks it sounds like thunder, which it actually does kind of sound, sound like thunder if you think about it. Nice breeze through here. Not that it's a terribly warm day, like I think, what, 21 they said there was a high? So the little plant right here is a type of horsehair. And it's considered to be what they call a fern ally. So I guess if the fern were ever in, in a war, those uh, horse tails would come to the rescue. <laughs> Get it? Okay. So that's not the Maitland. That's, um, it's a small creek that feeds into the Maitland. I can't rem remember what it's called. Something. Lots of bird activity. Lots of ferns everywhere. Let's see. So we've reached the, uh, the river. That wasn't too far. The footbridge is out, so we can't actually make the loop. So we'll probably go up the river a little bit and come back the same way. Wow, that is gorgeous, eh? So, this is the Maitland. This goes down past Falls Reserve Conservation Area where we did a post. I'll put up a link in the corner for anybody to see that video. These weekend camping trips are fantastic, but they just never seem long enough. Then again, the two-week camping trips or the three-week camping trips in the summer don't really seem long enough either. I just love camping, so... I'm not sure. There's got to be an amount where I'd say, okay, time to go home. Or maybe it's just the circumstances. These um, 
red cedars or eastern? Yeah, eastern white cedars. Everything looks so vibrant. Tree coming out of tree? Yeah, that's perfect. I'm, sur I'm surprised it's not stilting. Look at this one. Well, that one's stilting. So this is stilting. What happens is the bottom tree is rotting. So it's, it's amazing for growing. And a, a seed will fall into the top of the tree. And it will grow from there. It will grow on the top but it needs to reach the ground. And the dead log, or the dead tree rather, it'll keep decomposing, so the other tree needs to reach the ground. And eventually when that log is gone, sorry, when that trunk is gone, that tree will look like it's on stilts. And so they call it stilting. Kind of cool, eh? You see that, and you can see it with um, up north where trees are growing like a with great big boulders under them, except that it'll always be like that because the rock isn't going to just decompose. Man, this is like the perfect weather. Not too cool, not too hot, the sun's out. It's a bit of a breeze. I'm not at home doing work, I'm out camping and hiking in the woods somewhere new and I'm with my family what else could you ask for it's just so pretty oops yeah there Ooh, oh wow Look at that. Oh, I need to get some better light. Which way we need to go here. Okay, so there we have the two things. We were, the, uh, what we were talking about um, a couple of minutes ago, where the stilting occurs because it's growing on top of a, a rock and it needs to reach the surface. So that's a great big cedar tree and a great big boulder. That's probably an erotic boulder from the glacial period. Got dragged down and spit out spit out, spat out, spat out here millions of years ago. Isn't that cool? Look at how thick that is. I don't know. I'm not even sure I can show you how thick that is, but it's very thick. It's thicker than my head, the diameter of my head. Not that I have a thick head. Just take a, a looky-loo. Now there's a babbling brook. Chloe Bear. You know, it's getting warm when Chitra starts taking her sweaters off. Every hill you go down, you have to go back up one way or the other, eh? So if you're hiking it's this in the summertime, ooh, monarch, sorry, if you, 
hiking this in the summertime, definitely bring water. Definitely head toward the river. You can probably put your toes in without a problem, although it's a pretty shallow river, so I don't know what it would be like later in the season if there hasn't been a lot of rain. Lots of places for your dog to cool down, get a drink. There's definitely cool breezes coming off of the water right now. Swallowtail. I'm going to turn off the video camera. So thanks for coming along on this hike at the Wawanash Valley Nature Center. And we hope to see you again. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and think about subscribing. New videos every Thursday. I'm Trisha from Nature Lover Canada. Thanks for coming out with us. See you again soon on the trail.